Hey guys, it's me Lorenzo and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make 3D Minecraft thumbnails with Cinema 4D and Photoshop. So stay tuned and watch to the very end to see how to make awesome thumbnails. <laughs> So first off, you're, you're going to obviously want to have Cinema 4D and Photoshop links in the description videos. It's pretty easy to do. Just look at those videos and you have to have WinRAR for this too. So now once you have those programs, just download these two files together. It's just going to be this, Minecraft Thumbnails. And just drag these two files, FMR. Just drag the LIB files into this little part and double click. Now do the same for this one. Click, and bam, it should look like this. Next, you want to get your Minecraft skin. So you go right here, skin file, and grab your skin from where it, wherever it is. I have mine on my desktop, so I can just easily do that. But for you, go to Nova Skins, and then do this. Next, you want to go to Nova Skin right here, type in your username. Once you've done this, right click on this part right here and hit Save Image As. It'll appear right down here in your downloads spot. Now once you've gotten your skin and uploaded it here, take off all of these face toggles because they are kind of really annoying to deal with. Turn on shoulder controls and arm FK. Now we're ready to start editing our guy. So first you want to start off with this rotate tool up here. Click on the shoulders and you can rotate them however you want to make it look cool. So I'm thinking I'm going to go like that, and with this arm, do something kind of similar. You can rotate here by clicking on this and holding. Okay, there we go. Now with your head, you kind of want to turn it a bit to the opposite direction of whatever you're facing, because I kind of like doing that, but you don't have to if you don't want. So now to move the legs, grab the move tool, grab the bottom of the leg. And you can just move it to the left or right or up and down, but I just recommend doing left, right, and back and forth. If you make a mistake, just hold control and hit Z. There you go, that looks like some good placements right there. Now go to the FMR part, go to 4.0. Now go to armor toggles down here, and you can turn on armor if you'd like. I think I'm definitely going to do that, it makes it look cool. Now I'm going to go to tools, and I'm going to get myself a sword, diamond sword, and for my left hand I'm going to get a bow. Now I'm going to rotate his arm to make it so that the sword looks cooler. And same for the bow. Now once your character is all set up like this, you want to go to MoGraph and get MoText. Once you have MoText, change the font to whatever you like. I downloaded fonts from defonts.com, which you can also go do, link in the description. By the way, this takes a little while to load for some reason. But once it does, you can just click here and pick whatever font that you're using. I use this font called Aldo the Apache. Now just enter your text, change this from the left to the middle and go to caps. Change these both to fillet cap and change this to engrave. Change it to 10 steps on both. Now I want to make the text smaller because it's a bit too big for my liking. I want to center it into this good position. And now once you like the position of the text and the size, got to bend it to make it look sweet. Click on this bend tool here and just change the rotation to 90 degree, apply, and now stick this bad boy on mo text and hit fit to parent. Once you've done those steps, you can freely bend the text to your own will. <laughs> Is that a bit too dark? Nope. Okay. You can bend this boy however you like. After you've done that, 
just click on mo text and you can rotate this guy the rotate tool I think I'm gonna make it a bit smaller again because the bend makes it a little bit weird once the text looks sweet like this all I have to do is create material and I can change the color now once you have that text like that you can make a new material what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make yellow ish orange like this there you go orange yellow right here there we go and I'm gonna make a white one too Once you have these, you want to click on Mode Text and click this weird button right here. And I'll hit plus, 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 plus. And now all of these letters are individual. Now what you do is you drag these little balls onto here, like this. And you can grab all the colors and you can even put textures in here too. I'm just using these colors just for this tutorial. Now you can just drag other colors on top too, like this, and this will be the outline. And now what you do is you type C1, and you can just copy and paste. Just do that here. I'm gonna rearrange these because I made a mistake, and the ones on the inside are the ones like that. So you wanna type C1 on those these boys. There you go, nice and cool Sky Wars part right there. If you want to see what it'll look like when you render it, just hit this preview button here. Oh, that looks sweet. Nice, nice, nice. But it's not a lot it's not enough light for me. Now if you don't like the lighting, you can place a light. Which can make your picture look sweet. I'm gonna make it like this. And there you go. That should be some good lighting right there. I placed the light right there just so you know. If you forget how to make a light, just go up here and tap light and you can drag it around with this and this. Now you can check the preview you, to see if you like it. And if you do, sweet, now you can render it. So click render settings, go to save here, and go to PNG. And there we go. You can change the name of it here too. And there we go. Now we're gonna render this guy. So we're gonna save it to our desktop and we're gonna see if it's the right type of file. It is a PNG, but we're gonna keep this open just in case so that it doesn't corrupt. Now we open up Photoshop while keeping this open just in case guys, don't forget, keep this open because if it fails like I've done before, it's gonna be really painful and really sad because you we just wasted an hour of recording and, and stuff because I actually did that and uh, it was really painful and I was really sad and now I have to record it all over again but here we are file new and it's supposed to be 1280 by 720 okay and now I'm gonna place it see if it works there it goes Skywars Okay guys, if your file looks like this and has this background that's black, all you have to do is click on this tool right here, click on the black parts, and just hold shift, and then click on all of these spots that aren't selected, and then it'll be filled out. Before you do that though, you have to rasterize the layer just click right click there and then click there if you have a part of your skin that got messed up by that don't worry all you have to do is just turn this to the polygon elastic tool tap click there click here click there click there and bam now you can just draw inside with black simple and if you have any small small pixels like this, you can just turn it to one pixel and then 
Easy. Fix. Now once your project looks like this, you're nearly done. Now you've just got to find a good background. So now you open up your browser. This is the same as the last tutorial. Just look up Minecraft background HD. And find one that you like. Okay, so I'm going for this one right here. Open image in new tab. Hit copy. Once you've done that, just click back to Photoshop and hit Control V. It's gonna be too big if it's H if it's full HD. If not, it'll be fine, but I have to make it smaller and then bigger. To make it bigger, just hold hit Control T and then Shift and Alt. Hold those and then drag in. Easy. Make this the bottom layer so that it won't get confused. I'll double click on this one. I'm gonna make a drop shadow and make an outer glow. Make the outer glow white. And don't worry, if it has these little spots like this in the bottom, you can easily erase them just by making it smaller. And then just erase easily. You wanna make your character in text really big because people want to be able to see it. And since this video is a tutorial, I'm not going to only do this part. I'm also going to grab a click bait arrow. And I think this one looks good. When it's a PNG, you want to save the image as. That way it'll actually be transparent. There you go. Arrow. See how it came transparent? Bam. I'm gonna rotate this with this little part here and make it smaller. This arrow also should have some drop shadow right there. I'm gonna make, actually, I'm gonna change it to outer glow. I'm gonna make it white. This is a special technique that I made myself. Train, change the range up and then make the size up too and spread a bit and now it's got this glowy effect now a crucial part for every thumbnail that you want to do is what you want to do is you want to get the background to, to have stuff around it by doing this you take the pen tool or pencil or whatever you want to call it make it big and make the hardness zero and you just outline around Once you do that, you just change the opacity low. Yeah. And what I like to do sometimes too is make a light too. Make a light also. See how like uh, the light from the program was on this side? I'm gonna make a light over here and change this part. Make this one on top. Change the opacity for this guy too. There you go, that should be good. Opacity up a little bit. Okay guys, just to let you know that this part is basically where your thumbnails will be done, but the next part is just for people that want to make tutorial videos like me. And for this, I'm going to use this font, how to, here, I'm going to make this text here. Drop shadow, gradient overlay. I'm gonna change it to this gradient that I've been using. I think it's a pretty good one. Make the outer glow change to white. You could also do like a weird gray. I can do any, you can do any color if you want. But I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna control J to copy this, and I'm gonna make this part. I'm gonna bring yeah. these up here and make, make, I'm gonna make, make go closer. And then I'm gonna put 3D. 3D. There we go. I'm gonna make this a different gradient here. 
Got this 3D one here. So I actually decided to change it to black because I think it looks a bit better like this. Don't worry, we're not done yet, guys. The final piece right here is going to be Minecraft thumbnails. But I'm going to copy this so I can have the same look. There you go. MC. Um, nails. There we go. I'm also going to make this into a different type of gradient. Make it into this one that I created myself. Bam. And the outer glow is going to be white. Skywars guy. Just do a bit of finishing touches. There we go, guys. That's a thumbnail. Just go export render video. Make it whatever you want. And render. There we go. We've got the thumbnail right there. It's amazing. If you guys enjoyed this video, go smash like and subscribe. And I'll see you dudes in the next Photoshop tutorial. Peace out. Yeah.